Gato Squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elias, and if you like daily car content, consider subscribing. So today uh, I'm doing a quick video because I've been getting this question a lot and I've been forgetting to address it. So let's do it right now. TPMS system in the car. Now TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Most or all modern cars actually in the US have them. So uh, the BMW that we have here has TPMS sensors and they work very differently to what the Civic Type R has. So what does the Civic Type R have and how does, how does it work and should I be worried if it keeps coming up? Well, let's address those issues really quickly. Let's go for a ride. So before we talk about the TPMS system and how it works, let's first see exactly where it is within the system. So in the Civic Hatch Sport I used to own, there used to be a button right here. That's why this button is blank, because in the Civic uh, hatches, the Sport version, uh, there would be a TPMS calibration right here, right under the Vehicle Stability Control System Off button. In the Touring ones and the Civic Type R's, they're going to be in Settings, Vehicle, TPMS Calibration. Now when you hit Calibrate, uh, a couple of things happen. It'll actually reset itself and um, the way the TPMS system works is, is very different than other cars but if you have an issue with the TPMS system, if the TPMS system uh, brings up an error code or says there's an issue, check your tire pressures and hit calibrate. And the calibration has started. You notice that how it hasn't said it's finished and it will never tell you that it finished. It'll actually start monitoring your wheel speeds as you go along. So uh, let's talk about it a little bit more as we take a drive. All right, so as you saw there, uh, it's very simple to go and calibrate the TPMS system. It is a very simplistic system compared to other systems that are on uh, other cars. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no tire pressure gauge or anything like that within the car that you can see, and that's for a very good reason. So uh, let's take, for example, let's compare it to the BMW's TPMS system. So the BMW's TPMS system, the BMW 335D that we own, it uses a very uh, uh, complex I, I call it system where it has individual sensors for each tire and wheel and it'll measure out each pressure uh, for each tire and when you calibrate that TPMS system it'll calibrate to a certain pressure and if it drops below a certain threshold it'll give you a TPMS error which will make you stop and make you uh, you know look at that wheel and it'll show you exactly exactly which wheel has the issue. Honda's uh, solution I think is a, is a better solution for, for us enthusiasts because uh, with that BMW solution if you're ever to change uh, wheels and tires as every basically every enthusiast does uh, there's that brakes wheel I was talking about so if you're ever to change uh, wheels and tires in the BMW you need to buy four extra sensors to put into those wheels and tires uh, let's say you're going to have two sets of wheels, well you need two sets of TPMS sensors and you need to calibrate the TPMS sensors to the car each time you switch the wheels out. So it's not as simple as slapping on the wheels and you're ready to go. It's more, way more complicated and I really don't like it. Uh, that's actually one of the main reasons why I haven't changed the wheels and tires on the BMW. Well, the main reason is because I love those wheels and tires. They look great. Um, but I really wouldn't because it's just a big pain in the butt to, to deal with that. So, uh, so how does a Honda uh, deal with it? Now, uh, the way Honda deals with it is they use already existing systems to monitor any issues with the tires. So what am I talking about? Now, each wheel has speed sensors. Uh, in order for the anti-lock braking system to work, uh, each wheel has had uh, speed sensors for a very long time. So the car knows exactly how fast each wheel is spinning and uh, you know, it'll kind of, it kind of knows when it turns left and right that you know the wheels will spin at a slightly different speed. However, it monitors it for a very for a long term period. So not just for the ABS system, for the TPMS system, it monitors each wheel speed. And if you have a flat tire, it'll definitely turn very differently to the other three tires and wheels. And it'll do that for a very long time. Uh, you know, a very long time meaning you know five ten minutes. It'll give you that different speed reading, and then it'll flag. 
GPS uh, system. Now, it's not as precise, of course, as uh, having individual sensors in each wheel, but I think I can live with it because, you know, if you do have an issue, it'll flag it and you'll be able to go and check your tire pressures and know which one has a problem and then fix it. If you have, uh, you know, let's say you go to the track, for example. When I went to the track, every time I've gone to the track, I get a TPMS error because as you're sliding around, you're I'm basically sliding around and just uh, I'm scrubbing off the wheel and tire, and you know it, it, the TPM the, the, for the TPMS system, it sounds like I'm having an issue. So you know, every once in a while, it'll flag itself like, "Hey, I have an issue here." Uh, and all I have to do is, you know, kind of after the track day, I'll I'll stop. I'm, I may rotate the tires, and then I'll make sure all the the pressures are all the same, and then I'll calibrate the TPMS uh, sensors, and it'll be all good after that. So, you know, I've switched uh, wheels and tires on this car twice already. So I've uh, at the track and here, I've done it, and uh, I never have an issue with uh, TPMS. I just recalibrate it every time I switch wheels and tires, and I'm good to go. So, you know, if you're having issues with your TPMS uh, sensors, you know, there, there have been some reported issues with the TPMS system doesn't work properly. Usually that's due to the faulty speed sensors. That's uh, just a manufacturing issue. But in terms of the way TPMS works, I think uh, it works just fine. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.